Hi, I'm Bob. We will continue our solutions to the exercises for Chapter Three, a consumer's constrained choice in the textbook Microeconomics Theory and Applications with Calculus, the fifth edition by Professor Jeffrey Palov. We are at the section of budget constraint today. You can review this topic. Before doing the exercises by watching the introductory microeconomics course from the link in the description below, I will try my best to provide a step-by-step -step solution to the problems today. Let's solve exercise three point one. What is the effect of a fifty percent income tax? On the consumer's budget line and opportunity set. In the first step, we write down the budget constraint, the bundle of goods that can be bought if a consumer's entire budget is spent on those goods at given prices. In the second step, we find the new budget constraint after the income tax. Income Y reduces to half after the income tax. The new budget constraint is as follows: the budget line shifts to the left or inward toward the origin, and the opportunity cost shrinks from the big triangle to the small triangle. To find the intercept of the budget line on the Q1 axis, we set Q2 equal to zero. Similarly, we find the intercept of the budget line on the Q2 axis by setting Q1 equal to zero. It is a parallel shift because the slope of the budget lines are identical. Let's find answers to exercise 3.2. What happens to a consumer's optimal choice of goods if all prices and the consumer's income double? We can prove that if the consumer's income and the goods prices change by the same proportion, the consumer's budget constraint is unchanged. Suppose the origin budget constraint is as follows. If the prices and the consumer's income are multiplied by a constant a, the new budget constraint is the same as the original one. Since the budget line is unchanged, the consumer's optimal choice is also unchanged. Let's do exercise three point three. Governments frequently limit how much of a good a consumer can buy. During emergencies, governments may ration essential goods such as water, food, and gasoline rather than let their prices rise. Suppose that the government rations water, setting quotas on how much a consumer can purchase. If a consumer can afford to buy twelve thousand gallons a month, but the government restricts purchases to no more than ten thousand gallons a month, how do the consumer's budget line and opportunity set change? This exercise is about how quotas affect consumers' budget constraint and opportunity set. In the first step, we draw the budget line. Before the quota, the intercept of the budget line on the Q1 axis is twelve thousand gallons a month. The opportunity set is the area of A plus B. In the second step, we draw the budget line after the quota. The vertical dashed line at 
10,000 indicates the quota. The new budget line has a kink. The opportunity set shrinks to the area of A. The consumer has fewer opportunities because of the quota. Let's solve exercise 3.4. What happens to the budget line if the government applies a specific tax of $1 per gallon on gasoline, but does not tax other goods? What happens to the budget line if the tax applies only to purchases of gasoline in excess of 10 gallons per week? We consider the case that the specific tax on gasoline is $1. We first write the original budget line before the tax. Then we write the new budget line after the tax. The unit tax is equivalent to an increase of $1 in gasoline. Notice that the slope of the budget line changes. It becomes steeper. The intercept of the budget line on the Q2 axis is unchanged because P2 remains unchanged. The budget line rotates from B1 to B2. If the consumer spends all her income on gasoline, she can afford Y over P1 before the tax, but only Y over P1 plus 1 after the tax. The consumer's opportunity set shrinks. Second, we consider if the tax applies only to gasoline purchases above 10 gallons. The new budget line has a kink. The slope of the budget line is different before and after the kink. The opportunity set also shrinks in this case, but not as much as in the first case. Thank you for solving the exercises with me today. See you tomorrow in the next part of Chapter 3. Goodbye. Thank you for watching this video and subscribing to my YouTube channel. See you next time.